Hi everyone. Welcome to Winpoint online classes. In this session, we are going to discuss some of the important topics from the chapter Periodic Classification of Elements. Let's start the discussion. The first topic is valency. What do you mean by valency? We already learned about valency in the previous classes. Valency is the combining capacity of an atom. The combining capacity of an element is known as valency. Let's see how we can find valency of an atom. For example, phosphorus. The symbol of phosphorus is P. What is the atomic number of phosphorus? The atomic number of phosphorus is 15. Here we are writing atomic number of phosphorus is 15. How we can write the electronic configuration of this atom? Yes, it will be 285. In the outermost shell, the outermost shell is also known as valence shell. In the valence shell, how many electrons are there? There are 5 electrons. Here you can see that there are 5 electrons in the outermost shell. Why atoms are participating in chemical reaction? Atoms are participating in chemical reaction to complete the octet. In the outermost shell, they need 8 electrons. If an atom is having 8 electrons in the outermost shell, the atom will be stable. Here the configuration is 285. The outermost shell is having 5 electrons. To complete the octet, phosphorus needs 3 electrons more. Then 3 is the valency. The, it is Valency is the number of electrons required to complete the octet. Valency is 3. Now we can go for the next example. Sodium. What is atomic number of sodium? The atomic number of sodium is 11. The configuration will be 281. Right? How many electrons are there in the valence shell? In the valence shell, there is only one electron. So it needs seven electrons to complete the octet. But no atom is going to give seven electrons. So the best idea is donate that electron. If the sodium is donating this one electron, it will be having two eight, eight electron in the outermost shell. To complete the octet, sodium will donate one electron. So it will be, the valence will be one. So we can define valency, it is a number of electrons required to complete the octet or it is a number of electrons donated by an atom to complete the octet. Some atom will donate electron, some atom will accept electron. The valency of an atom is depending upon the number of electrons in the outermost shell. Needs Valency depends on the number of electrons in the outermost shell. So what will be the change of this valency along the group and along the period? Let's check that. Now we are going to discuss the variation of valency down the group and across the period. Here you can see the periodic table. There are 18 groups and 7 periods. There are 18 groups and 7 periods. We are going to consider the first group elements. These are the first group elements. What will be the valency of hydrogen? Hydrogen, the group number of hydrogen is 1. Do you know how we can find group number of an atom? First we need to write the electronic configuration. After that, we need to check the number of electrons in the valence shell. If you don't know to find group and period of an atom, you can click on the link above, then you can learn that again. First, we will write the electronic configuration. Then, we will check the outermost electron. If the number of electrons in the outermost shell is 1, the group will be 1. Hydrogen, lithium, sodium, all these elements are in group 1, first group elements. So, all shells, all atoms are having same number of valence electron, 1 electron. Hydrogen in the outermost shell, there will be one electron. Lithium in the outermost shell, there will be one electron. Sodium in the outermost shell, there will be one electron. Because these elements are in first group. What will be the valency of hydrogen? It will be one. What will be the valency of lithium? It will be one. What will be the valency of sodium? It will be one. So down the group, the valency is not changing. Valency remains same because same number of electrons in the valence shell, same number of electrons in the outermost shell. Now we can consider the second period elements. These are the second period elements. Lithium, Beryllium, Boron, Carbon, Nitrogen, Oxygen, Fluorine, Neon. What is the group number of Lithium? 1, right? The group number of Lithium is 1. What is the period number of Lithium? 2. It is second period element. Which means Lithium is having 1 electron in the outermost shell. The valence is 1. What about Beryllium? Period number is 2. There is no change in the number of shell. The group number of lithium is 1, group number of beryllium is 2, which means in the outermost shell there are 2 electrons. The valence is 2. It is going to donate these 2 electrons, so valence is 2. What about boron? 
boron is in 13th group 13th group means the number of electrons in the outermost shell is 3 the valence will be 3 what about carbon carbon is in 14th group 14th group means the number of electrons in the outermost shell is 4 which means the valence is 4 what about nitrogen nitrogen is in 15th group number of electrons in the outermost shell is 5 if the electrons number of electrons in the outermost shell is 5 they are going to accept 3 electron to complete octet if it is more than 4 the atoms are going to accept electron here nitrogen is having 5 electron it is in 15th group 5 electrons in the outermost shell which means the nitrogen is going to accept 3 electrons to complete the octet the valency is 3 valency of lithium is 1 valency of beryllium is 2 valency of boron is 3 valency of carbon is 4 valency of nitrogen is 3 so valency is increasing across the period up to 4 after that the valency is decreasing now we can we can check the valency of oxygen oxygen is in 16th group 16th group means the number of electrons in the outermost shell is 6 6 electron in the last shell 2 electrons to complete the octet they are going to accept 2 electron so valency is 2 what about fluorine fluorine is 17th group element 17th group means outermost electron is 7 1 electron to complete the octet valence will be 1 what about neon neon is in 18th group 18th group means the number of electrons in the outermost shell is 8 the valence is 0 so valence is increasing up to 4 and it is decreasing to 0 now we can write the same valency valency remains the same down the group valency increases up to 4 then decreases to 0 in moving left to right along a period 